Okay, we are going to play a game now. Whether you like it or not. I like it. That's why I'm doing this. I think I'm going to need to set this up first. Oh, I've definitely played this before. That opening looks familiar. I was impressed because they usually don't have anything except the Big Fish logo. It's kind of cool to see something else. It's been almost a year since I received a letter from that man about all the strange things happening at the hotel. The background is just too bad. Do I have to click? I never believed any of that mysterious stuff. Time travel, conspiracy theories, people disappearing. But something made me check a few names and some dates. Then history started to let me out. The more I researched, the more I discovered I was searching for certain people and their connections to the show. All of that research led me to a hotel called the Lonely Dream. This place gives me the creeps, even from the parking lot. Wait, that's not the name of this game. I need to stay undercover and check the place out. I don't want to let on that I'm with the FBI. Some people may have some people have already started speaking. I'm sure that something is happening, but I'm not sure exactly what that is yet. If this really pans out, I need to do all I can to stop this madness. I want to believe I have the power to do that. Just the volume because it's far too loud and probably the sound is going to be loud too and make it partly screen. Did that work? Hello everyone, I'm Fate Touched and this is me playing games. This game is the second Haunted Hotel game, Haunted Hotel 2 Believe the Lies. In the first game, which I streamed probably last year at this point. I have the video up on YouTube. Um, basically, you get you go into a hotel and then you can't get out. And each floor has these rooms where like nature is like taking over, but like magically. And it was a very old game. It was 2008. And um, I'm pretty sure this is the next year. So it's probably 2009. And I, I don't remember, but I think this might be a prequel. We'll have to see. Because in the game I played last, there was already an FBI agent. So this might be before that game. But basically you have to find your way out of the hotel and there's this like nature spirit or magical void being or something. That's um, trying to kill you. And it's killed everybody else that stayed at the hotel. And there was like uh, a scientist and a, uh, a ghost, a ghost inspector. That's totally a thing. And uh, um, yeah, no, I'm just going to say ghost inspector because now I can't think of the right words for that. And... <laughs> And somebody, there's like a, four people that were involved. Oh, and there was an evil priest, too. And um, they were all conspiring to get people into the hotel to get the void thing to eat it, eat them for some reason. I don't exactly remember why. It's been a while. But at any rate, um, so let's start. This is an older, well, obviously, if it's from 2009 an older um, Find It game, so it's not going to be nearly as uh, complicated as some of the newer ones. Reception desk, 9 p.m. Uh, okay. Oh good, they're going to give me a tutorial I can't skip. Here's the list of items to find! Oh, and Ot Punk is here in the orders of the chat. She is apparently my sidekick for the day. Alright, there's the list of items. Is it still too loud in the background? I think it's still too loud in the background. You're helping. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a little. Yeah, I'll turn down the volume when they let me through this stupid tutorial. Alright, yeah. Let's turn that down. We don't need that much volume. Not like anything... Oops, no! Okay. 
So, so this one, as opposed to the last one, see there's objects moving and stuff in the background. The last one didn't even have that. It was just flat objects, all kinds of weird places. And if you notice, most of the objects in this picture, if you were going to recreate it in real life, they could still be in the places they are. The last one, there was like stuff hanging from the ceiling and blended into the walls and yeah. Okay, so let's see, what do we got? Tennis ball, oil can, balloon, keys. Okay, tennis ball. I thought I saw the oil can while I was talking too much. Probably. Balloon, I think, oh, there's a balloon. It's not blown up. Keys. Eight ball, I know I saw the eight ball. Something has been added to the inventory. Oh. Okay, I don't need a tutorial. Thank you. Eight ball. Apple. Screwdriver, bracelet, knife. There's the knife. Do I get to keep a screwdriver? That would be good. Actually, it looks like I only get one item at a time. Some games do that. Uh, the newer ones, they usually have a menu on the bottom of the page. There's the ice bag. And the stamp padlock globe. I saw a globe. There's the globe. You spy a fedora. Is it a fedora or is it, what's the other thing? A tribilly or whatever it is? That they always say it is and not the other thing? Ha, tribilly. Tribilly? That's not how you say that. It's not tribilly. Tribilly. Isn't that what I said? Probably not what I said. Um... For those who are just joining this stream and have never been here before, I'm dyslexic. So, yeah, I'm totally not looking for anything either. I should probably do that. Oil can, screwdriver, bracelet. Oil can, screwdriver, bracelet. I'm just going to argue with Aut Punk about what the name of that hat is. What is that? Oh, that's a flashlight. That was on there. What is this supposed to be? Huh, I don't know what that is. Lock? Yep. Uh, is that a tricorder? No. I don't know what that is. Key? Oh, well, I have, there's a key there. A six and a teapot. There's a teapot. Six, like on the clock? That's a six. No, huh? Photo, right there. A five and a six. Oh, there's the five. Thermometer. Wow, this actually has a lot of items to find. There's a thermometer. You just can't find them all at once because they're... That's a cup. I guess that's a cup with stuff in it. You can't find them all at once because they only show you a certain portion at a time. In the newer games, they don't do that either. <laughs> Your first college boyfriend would in fact have worn that hat. Yes, I agree. Gold. Love. Now, even though this game is... Oh, there's the six. Um, even though this game has stuff where it's like more natural for it to be, it still has weird stuff that shouldn't actually be here with no reasonable explanation as to why I was looking for the wrong kind of stamp. Um, in the newer games, like... Is that the bracelet? Oh, I thought that was a ring. In the newer games, even the stuff in the room like, has to make more sense. Oil can and screwdriver. Okay. That's a lighter. Oh, that, oh, that looks like a uh, TV tube. That's a record. Like the accordion. Though I guess a guest could have left the accordion. I was thinking more of the gold bar that I found. Um, what is that supposed to be? Oh, that's a screwdriver. I thought that was all one thing, but that's a gun barrel with a screwdriver in it. That's a terrible idea. Is it? Oh, you're right. Thank you, Op Punk. Search the room on clues for where to go next. To help you out, thoughts will appear at the bottom of the screen. This is an example of a thought. Okay, I think we got this game. Ugh, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know. Try the guest registry. Uh. 
Okay, so it looks reception desk, 9, 10 p.m. So I need to take the pencil. Why did that? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Can we be done with the tutorial? Ugh. Okay, there we go. A. Einstein? Is that what that says? Professor... A. Einstein, Professor. Room 1012, I think that says? My first suspect! Okay. Oops. Why? Why am I making a copy of the key if I have the key? Why don't, why don't I just take... Yeah, the bullet is kind of creepy. I don't know why there's a feather and an apple either, but... Why, why, why don't I just take the master key? Why do I have to make a copy of it? I don't think that the registry pages would have been torn out if someone wasn't trying to hide. I have to check out the professor without attracting attention. Yeah, that's right, there was a professor. Uh-oh. We're being watched. By the bellhop. Because we're walking around in a trench coat and glasses inside. Suspected professor's room. 8.03 a.m. Is this his suspected room? Or is this his room and he's suspected? I am a narc, yes. Alright. Bullet. Hat. Glasses. Wristwatch. Hammer. Uh, thermometer and hanger. Is that the thermometer? Nope. That's the thermometer. Hanger. Serving fork. Okay. <laughs> Pliers moon brush. Is that a brush? Oh, wrong kind of brush. There's a brush. Pliers. What else? Paper clip and a wrench. I saw the paper clip. Okay. Um. I think one of my problems. What? I'm. Mean, make oink noises at me. I think one of my problems with streaming these games is normally I talk to myself while I'm playing them, but I try to do so in kind of a low tone so people don't think I'm insane, even though I probably am. Um, and uh, that means that my habit is to like start mumbling to myself really quietly, but then you can't hear me. Nice. This dude has a lot of, like, I'm going to kill you things in his room, Dunny. That's a roller, not a stamp. That's a paper punch. And those bolts, I guess. Cards. Oh, there's cards. I don't see the moon anywhere. Um, let's see. Number pad. Oh, that's there. Okay, oh, there's feather. I don't like that noise. He also has a lot of diplomas. Oh, and he says, I didn't even think of that as his hotel room. Maybe this is supposed to be like one of those hotels where people live there some of the time? That doesn't seem like that's how they're framing it, though. But yeah, he does have a lot of diplomas. Diplomas. Diplomas, doesn't he? I don't know like what all this other random stuff is. There's a stamp. Like... What is this whole machine doing over here? Why? Why? <laughs> what is this nonsense? There's some weird stuff going on. The, the last game was also very strange. Um, like I said, this one is a little bit more like stuff could in fact be where it is in real life. The other game, nothing like that. The first one was like, we're just going to put things everywhere. Headlock. Noose. A noose. That's that's great. Flashlight. Bottle of wine. Is oh, that like a soldering gun? What's he doing in this room? Is that the metal? Okay. We need, that's a compass. A serving fork, moon, and wrench. Okay. Is that the wrench? No. I don't know what that is. And what's with the giant old-fashioned rifle, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, keep the gun next to the lettuce. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wrench. Moon. Oh, there's an ice cream. 
Uh, up there's a wrench. Okay. The moon or the serving fork. Which means it's somewhere I'm not looking. And that sounds dumb, but it's true because these games train your eyes to look like in the same places over and over again, and then you don't see things. Where's the moon? Huh. And the serving fork! I actually don't see the serving fork either, but like the moon- wait, is that the moon? No. Alright, let's use a hint because I don't feel like- That's an axe! Wait, is, what is this? Oh! Okay, that's not what I was looking for, but sure. Oh, there's the moon! <laughs> it's not cheating! It's only cheating if I look stuff up. The hints are built in. I have a suspicion that there's a clue hidden in here that will lead me to the identity of the informant. Wait, I didn't actually see what the first one said. There are a lot of charts and tables. I must investigate to find out who's bringing him this information. Okay. Wait, how do I close you? Oh, <laughs> that button. Let's see, book, computer, drawer. Oh, it's sparkling at me. That's lame. James, internet, room number 13. Wait, isn't his room number like 1001 or something? So now he's in number 13? Okay, sure. Oh, and this is... what? Okay, sure. Use the keypad, enter a five-digit code. Ugh. Does this mean I need a piece of paper? Poop. Alright, so we do one, two, three, four, five. So five is correct, one is close. So, two, four, Six, seven, five? Or I'm incorrect. Okay. So, the five is still right. Three, four, six, seven, five. Oh, I did six and seven already. I do need a piece of paper. Dag, nabbit. I guess I'm a hacker. I mean, does the the FBI's got to have hackers, right? And it's legal if I'm in the FBI, right? It's not illegal to break into people's rooms or anything without a warrant. That's totally a thing. Especially like their whom their homes, their homes, well, their rooms. If they're in a hotel, like it's not even. Though I guess maybe if you had, you could get permission from the hotel, but I still don't think that's legal. All right, so it's not one, it's not two, it's not three, so four, five, seven, eight, five. Okay. So then, that's not right, so five, six, eight, nine, five. It's not the best way to do this. How is one- why- I don't get what the yellow is supposed to mean. Because if the yellow- oh wait. Green is spot on, yellow is next to, red is not close to, but then what was one? That was- five is not near one, unless it means like diagonally. I don't think that's gonna be it, but we'll try it. I hate that you were almost right on that. I know! I know! I hate you for it! How did you figure that out? Shot in the dark. You're such a jerk. <laughs> you need it plan. 
can't just make stuff up and have it work. That is so dumb. They, so the yellow meant absolutely nothing. Very irritating. Okay. Unlocked. Okay. Suspected hacker's room. This is a suspected hacker's room. Huh? Look at the all the giant screens. Because you can't have the flat screens. I don't think a hacker would have books that were that nice. Okay, let's see. They have like all kinds of like hackery books, wouldn't they? Racer, hanger. Oh, this is on the screen is pictures from the last game. That's the that's the first game, Haunted Hotels. It does sound like music that a hacker would be listening to. Which is not great. And Scissors. Let's see. There's a beer. I guess we need a beer can. There's a beer can, a beer bottle, and a glass of beer that looks like it was poured from... If I watched a movie, Fateful Findings, you would know all about hackers and books. I would, huh? I've never heard of that movie. I think the only hacker movies I've ever watched were Swordfish and Hackers. <laughs> Which is probably not a good place to get correct information from. I showed you the trailer. Oh, I probably repressed it. Is that one of those ones that was like the most B-movie that ever B-movie? Yes. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Yeah, no, I definitely rep repressed that then on purpose. Oh, and a bottle of wine, too, I think. Unless that's a bottle cap. I don't know what that would be. Let's see. What else do we got here? Do, 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 do. I forgot all the things I'm looking for. There we go. CD. That's a hard drive. There's a CD. It's a very weird assortment of stuff this guy has on his desk in his hotel room. Again, keeping in mind that this is in fact a hotel room, which is something I hadn't really been paying attention to in the last game. This is not like their office at their like company or something. Oh, there's a triangle. <laughs> there's a jump drive. Uh, what am I looking for? UV lamp, pencil, lighter, pawn, ball, cone, floppy disk. I thought I saw a floppy disk. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's the UV light. UV lights are fun to play with. I wouldn't use one in a hotel room, though. That would probably be scary. Apple. Don't copy that floppy. That's what they're made for! And actually, we had so much freeware and shareware when we were growing up that I think that's all we had was uh, copied discs. I keep forgetting what I'm looking- wait! Oh look! FBI! Close! Oh no! Not- not reset. Any other weird things around here? Oh, I don't know what that says. That probably says don't touch. I don't know why you'd touch an off monitor, but whatever. Um... Thermometer and a floppy disk. Here's the floppy disk. That's not a floppy disk. Oh, there it is right there. I got spam. Oh, look at that. I got spam. Yeah, I don't buy, like, things that I actually need. Never mind followers. Not a thing that's happening. You're so proud. <laughs> I guess you don't need a lot of followers to uh, get a... What is that supposed to be? To get spam in this... Uh day and age. There's the ball. Oh, it's a ping pong ball. Good, he's playing beer pong in his hotel room by himself. Organizer. That's a book. That's an abacus. I don't know why a hacker would have an abacus. That's an organizer, but that's not what they're looking for. Is that it? Oh, that's the pump. I didn't even see that. Pawn on the middle shelf. Oh yeah, look at that. I was blending it with the books. Speaker. Is that the speaker? Okay, that's a speaker. I was trying to figure out what that was. Radiation. That I saw a million times. 
paper clip is right there. I don't know what this is going on there. Matches and a blackboard. Why would we have a blackboard? There it is. Oh, the organizer's right in front of it. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Matches thermometer cone. Matches thermometer. Oh, pine cone. I was looking for like an orange cone. Orange. Orange. I say words weird. Look, there's a cube for some reason. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Matches thermometer lighter. Okay, where am I not looking? There's a bullet. They have lots of bullets in this hotel just laying around. Kind of disconcerting. <laughs> that is... Oh, there was a lighter behind the TV tube. That's why I didn't see it. Matches and thermometer. That looks like an old school bell. Oh, there's the matches. I was looking for a book of matches. There are freaking two little matches on top of that motherboard. Jeez. And the thermometer. Which is probably... That's not a thermometer. That's a... What you do to... Uh, I've lost the word. Alright. I don't feel like looking for the thermometer. Whoa! I was staring right at that. That's kind of sad. Okay, so now we're going to look on his computer. Oh, for heaven's sakes, really? Hacker's computer, 10.30 a.m. Hack the computer login. This does not seem like a thing. What? This dude wrote on his computer in invisible ink on his monitor his password. <sighs> That's not a thing. I was going to say that CRTs aren't uh, touch screens, but apparently that wasn't what they were going for. Well, I got one of them. I wasn't actually paying attention. There's a, probably some sort of thing here that I'm missing. No, I'll go do one. Yeah, I don't feel like figuring out the puzzle for those who are interested. Because this is making me angry. Okay. Wow. Hacked. <laughs> I was right. The hacker is supplying the professor with data. I can't help but wonder who else in this hotel is involved. I'd better get some fresh air. I don't want to be caught lurking near the other guests' rooms. I still need a little more time. Yep, there was a hacker in the last game, too. That was the other person. It was a hacker, a professor, a scientist, and the priest. Though I think there was a, four, a fifth guy, because the priest was the last guy. That's not realistic bird noises. We are terrible at being sneaky. I, I can only assume that we're saying all of this stuff out loud as we wander around the hotel, too. <laughs> like, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay, let's see. What am I looking for? There's some weird stuff going on in this hotel. Why do I have a TV on the freaking porch in the winter? Like... Regardless if it's an old TV or a new TV, that is not going to end well for the TV. Good cone. That's the kind of cone I was looking for last time. Alright, let's see. We need a metal, plain, seashell, and a frog. Yay, frogs. I love frogs. There's the metal. Is that another bullet? Oh my gosh, there's been a bullet in every picture. Seashell. I hope there isn't a real frog out here. It's winter. It will die. I 
have to remember to look where the mouse is going. Sometimes when I play these games, like the mouse follows my eyeballs instead of me following the mouse. Let's see, what else am I looking for? Wrench, flower, guitar pick. Oh, I saw the guitar pick. Chess piece and a knife and a padlock. Somebody is sneezing out here. There's the wrench. Did I just fly right over the wrench the first- Oh, there is a frog out here. Poor frog. He dead. Alright, let's see. The kitty cat probably wouldn't be snuggled out here in the winter porch either. I can't imagine. Oh, bullet. We saw the bullet. There it is. Rope. Rope. Naked lady statue. That's not on the list. Violin. Cat. Okay. The cat gets to go inside, I guess. Or it's dead and a statue. Or a statue. I guess it could be both if it's taxidermied. Oh no, loud thunder! Oh no! I guess if you disappear, it's because your power went out. No, don't go. Yes. <laughs> All right. What am I looking for? Horn, baton, squash. Baton, like as in twirly baton, or baton like I'm going to hit you with it. Baton. Though I guess you could hit a person with a twirly baton too. Oh, no, it's a twirly baton. A magpie. You are. Magpies are cool. I wish we had magpies around here. I want to be friends with one. Even though they're supposed to be very mean and try to get you when you walk by them, generally speaking. Let's see. A bag. That's... Oh, there's a bag. And a fish. Oh, dead fish. I wonder if it's one of those talking fish. Sunglasses. Cannon. Oh, there's Cannon. You're right. That snowman should not have that electric guitar. Ski. Hat. That's a hat. I mean, it's a construction hat, but still. There's a hat. Okay, let's see. A bow, a horn, a wristwatch. Oh, I saw the wristwatch. Where did I see the wristwatch? There it is. Oh, there's the flower. Duh. Let's see. Chest piece, knife, horn, bow. There's the horn. I knew I saw it. I gotta think that watching this kind of a thing in retrospect is like, no, it's right there. Oh, this kind of a bow. I was looking for the other kind of bow. And a knife. There's a gun. That's a, like, normal gun. Fedora. Yes, I know. You don't like fedoras. Which is a shame because they when when guys dress up, you know, like gangstery with the Is that a knife? No. With like the really fancy suits and the spiffy hats and all that, they look really good. But unfortunately the uh, fedora has been overtaken by unfriendly humans. And I can't find the knife. Where's the stupid knife? That's not a knife. Not in the ceiling, right? Oop. Cow skulls. No man. Guitar. I am not looking where it is. Where is it? Hmm. Get a hint. Oh, that sparkled and I didn't see it. There it is. Oh, what's this? Somebody tore up a photo and then just left the pieces on the porch. Aw, it's not fun. It's got the picture right in front of it. I like them better when you have to kind of figure the photo out on your own. Why did they take a picture of this? It just looks like somebody's room.
with a noose in it. Okay, I guess that would be a good reason to take a picture of something. Like if you walked into your hotel room and there was a noose, it would make sense to take a picture of that. Yes, yeah, I, I just saw the noose. Uh, da, da, da. There's also a, a baby grand in this room, which is a little weird. Huh, and I guess I'm here now. Musician's room, 2.13 p.m. Yeah, I know there's a stand-up piano, too. This is the musician's room. See, he must bring these pianos with him when he goes to hotels. <laughs> and maybe that's why there was an accordion at the front desk. Okay, see? See? Everything makes sense if you look at it very strangely. Button. A baton. I assume that's the same kind of baton. Why do I hear, like, scratching? Is that someone supposed to be, like, writing down music and then erasing it? Okay, the... I guess that's what that noise is. A weird sound effect. Dagger, as opposed to a knife. Fork, scissors, tie. Oh, there's a- okay, that's a dagger, I gotta say. There's a cork. There is an eyeball next to that cork. Just so... Everybody sees that. Ugh. Okay, sorry. The eyeball confused me for a mouth. Oh, there's a star. There's a lot of sports equipment in this room for someone being a mag magician. No, musician. Magicians and musicians are different types of people. Though I guess they both make magic. That was lame. I apologize. Mouse screwdriver. There's a mouse in here somewhere. Oh, there's a pipe. What? <laughs> I apologized. <laughs> screwdriver. Oh, there's scissors. Oh, there's the baton. That's the kind you hit people with. Uh, slippers. Oh, here. I saw that. That's not a flute. Oh, it is a flute. I thought that was going to be a clarinet. Pencil. Headphones. Razor. What else am I looking for? Guitar pick. Apparently in this hotel they only have blue guitar, guitar picks. Guitar picks. Paperclip below where the headphones were. Where were the headphones? Oh, they're there. It is. Whatever. What is that supposed to be? Hmm. Razor sock key. I thought I saw a key. There's a key. What kind of razor am I looking for? Should not be a question. Wait, is that it? Yep. Straight razor. Let's see. Sock. Oh, there's a screwdriver. That's silly business. Puzzle piece. Mouse sock. Puzzle piece. Mouse. I wonder which kind of mouse. Piece, mouse sock. This guy's using a plunger for a coat hanger, I think. That's kind of gross. There's the sock. Wow, that was really blended in well. Oh, look, a cassette tape. Oh, there's the mouse. What was the last thing? Puzzle piece. Where's the puzzle piece? The film reel. Oh, look, there's the eyeball again. I don't know what that is. Is that like a dial from a safe, maybe? I don't know. Lipstick on the mandolin, that checks. It's a lock. 
Oh, you're right. It's open lock. I didn't notice that this was part of it. You are correct. Um, don't happen to see that puzzle piece, do you? I don't see it. Huh. All right. Get a hint. Oh, it was right in front of me. That I should have seen. Nice room, but I feel it hides something important. In this locked chest. So now we're gonna break into people's personal stuff. Oh. These puzzles are such a pain in the butt. Ugh. Alright. This is also not how lockpicking works. Like, I guess I'm kind of happy that they, um... Oh wait, I should put that one all the way up first. I guess I'm kind of happy that they don't actually show you how lockpicking works, because that would probably be bad, but... Let's see. Lucky Star 23, huh? Is this somebody's hunter's room? Oh my gosh. Hunter's room, 3.03 p.m. Um, I don't think this guy's a hunter. I'm just gonna say that right now. I think this guy has other plans. Not, not a normal hotel room. Nope. Not even slightly normal. Holy crow. Does he have luggage for all this stuff? a target on the fireplace. I am not comfortable with this. <laughs> Just so we're clear, hunting is cool if you're doing it for food because deer meat is delicious. But this person does not look like he wants to be hunting deer. He does that, yeah. Oh, I just saw the gas mask, didn't I? That's, oh, there it is, yep. An average American's room. I don't know about that. Look at all this, like... There's fur. These rugs probably came with him. Those probably came with him. And the taxidermy ducks. Oh. This is just silly business. Oh my gosh. Slightly frightening. See, as soon as I found something like this, I would call the rest of the FBI and say, Hey, guess what? There's a crazy person in this hotel. You should come and arrest them because this is not normal um yeah a mine why would somebody have a mine in their hotel room unless they were gonna blow something up like eminently Hunting. You do not hunt with mines. <laughs> also, this is not the proper way to store weapons. My great uncles would have a cow. Is that a bomb? Like, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I'm... This is pretend, so I should not be this angry. <laughs> This is not a normal person's room. This is a weird video game room. This person hopefully does not exist in reality. I assume. Handprint, that's extra freaky. This katana just laying there. There's a seashell in here somewhere? Or is that some sort of weird weapon I don't know about? Oh boy. Slightly at a loss here. Oh, there's a seashell. Sure, why not? A boomerang. And a bucket. 
I just keep looking at all of the weapons. Is that a handgun with a silencer? Or is that two things sitting next to each other? That's not how silencers work. Unless that's like a light on the bottom of it. I'm, again, not paying attention. Belt, scissors, boomerang, shuriken. Belt. Oh, there's the belt on top of the uh, wolf skin rug. Oh, I saw the pliers. Scissors I have not seen. A rose. Right, okay. I don't see the shuriken either. It's probably stuck in something. Scroll I saw. That's right there. Next to the pineapple grenade. An iron? Well, I guess you gotta keep your hunting clothes nice and wrinkle free. Glasses on the antelope. A hat. Oh, look, it's another hat, Amber. Hey, that's a pen. That's a hat. Oh, it's a camouflage. <laughs> it was a camouflage one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's gone now. I don't know where this stuff goes after I click on it. Maybe it goes into like a dimension of fire. Who knows? Okay. Metal. Metal. Bucket, shuriken, boomerang. Okay. Metal. That's not a bucket. That's a tackle box. That's a semi-automatic machine gun. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the metal. Oh, there's a the shuriken. So now I need a bucket, which was on top of the knight's helmet for some reason. And boomerang. There's moose antlers. Or moose. Mooses are awesome. They are very giant. There's a boomerang. Okay. Look for clues. Do I have to? This person is scaring me. Oh good, another gun. <laughs> ah, there's a bump in the bottom. I'm not gonna take the gun. It's a map. Of something. Is that supposed to be the hotel? Where am I now? Oh, this is my room? Really? Why do I have like... <sighs> okay, sorry. Let's just... Another gun. Yes, I know. Why, why do I have an old-fashioned rifle in my hotel room? <laughs> Two hats. I'm one of them, Amber. Unless I'm stealing them from other people. Who knows, right? Oh no, a red star. I must be a communist secretly. Uh, lipstick. Nope, that's a lighter. Uh, let's see, a flask. All detectives have to have flasks. Let's see, what else? Battery. What can I use a 9 volt battery for? Razor, toothbrush. I mean, at least I have some normal things in this room as opposed to the other rooms. Which, like, no. Oh, look, there's my FBI badge. With someone else's picture on it, by the looks of it. Cigarettes. Pencil. Butterfly. Butterfly. Pretty butterfly. Glasses, a dart, which I probably store, stole from the bar, a red seal oh. on the scroll that I have for some reason. Is this my badge? Okay. I don't think that's somebody else's badge. Thermometer, keys, lighter. Why do I have a lighter and matches? Kind of seems like overkill. Envelope. Saw an envelope. Hmm. Wallet, which should be in my pocket. Heart. Pocket watch. I have a pocket watch and a watch right next to each other. Like a knife stabbed into <laughs> the chair. I'm having a hard day, okay? 
There's the red star. Communism. Padlock. Oh, there's a bullet in here. Of course there's a bullet in here. There hasn't been any rooms with no bullets yet. Like, I don't think I saw an individual bullet in the last room, but there were plenty of bullets there that were attached to things, so I think that counts. What's that? Okay, credit card. That should be in my wallet. That's a photo. Oh, there's a credit card. Nope. Nope, oh, there it is. What is that? Oh, that's two books. Uh, a razor blade. There, and the watch. Padlock, matches. Oh, there's the matches. Toothbrush, envelope, bullet, padlock. Here's the envelope. Toothbrush. Oh, there's the bullet right next to my laptop, just in case I need it. For throwing at people, I guess. There's no... Well, okay, there is a gun, but that is not the type of gun that that type of bullet goes in. There's a bad lock. I think that fan is facing the wrong way. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. What did my journal say? Look for clues. Why does this room... Reek of cologne. I don't know, it's my room. Do I use too much cologne? What am I supposed to be looking for in here? I wasn't paying attention! Oh, there's cologne. I'm pretty sure that bottle was almost full earlier. Weird. Someone came in, used all my cologne, and left. Okay, garage, 6.01 p.m. I don't think it would be that sunny outside if it's this winter, wherever you happen to be at six o'clock. Okay, let's see. That is a very green car. Pocket watch, flashlight, six kiss, skull, alarm clock, hat. There's a hat. Oh, I guess, oh, oh, it's another hat, it's another hat. Hat alert probably a bullet in here somewhere too shouldn't we be like talking to suspects or something <laughs> you would think i think we're trying to like remove or uh spy on people but yeah like doesn't the fbi usually come up and say hi i'm the fbi i'm gonna talk to you now i have no idea what fbi people say uh kiss mark oh, that's creepy Oh, a skull. That's good. Alarm clock. I haven't seen that bullet yet, but I bet it's in here somewhere. Glasses. Stamp. What kind of stamp? A handgun. Of course there's a handgun. And it's sitting on the floor. That's a great place where- Oh, look, a hedgehog. Oh, look, a hedgehog. <laughs> Um, pocket light, flashlight, pocket light, pocket watch, flashlight, umbrella. People in this hotel don't know how to store umbrellas properly. Hard hat. That's a type of hat. There's a stamp. Handprint. Feather. Why do I need a feather? Is that the flashlight? No. Here's the flashlight. A scroll. So I don't have a lot of scrolls in this hotel, too. That's a pear. Good, that is a pear. Okay, that's an apple. A flower. A boot print. Isn't that like a clue? Shouldn't we leave that there? Axe. It's a nice axe. Record. Not a good place for a record. Fly. Not see a fly. Scissors. I saw scissors. And the paper clip. Oh, there's the pocket watch. I saw a spark plug too. There it is. Belts. Oh, the spark plug is apparently important. Is this the belt? Ah, wrong kind of belt. 
pose bend. Oh, that's important too. Okay. What are we doing in here? What is that? What is all the hose? Um, oh, there's the pair. Hose bend and measuring tape. Is it measuring tape? No. A lot of screwdrivers in this room. Measuring tape. Yeah, there's like four screwdrivers of all the same color. Fly, feather, leaf. Oh, I saw the leaf. The leaf is on the car. Oh, there's the fly. Six I saw too. Up oh, there is. Feather hose bend. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more. Driver. Oh, there's the hose bend. I knew I saw it. And a feather. Why is there a feather in the garage? With a garage, if you are British. There is him. Aha! It's on the wheel. I found it. Why are we going into the engine? Why are we fixing this dude's car? This is not my car. That's the spark plug. The tire roller is missing. Well, I don't have a tire roller. Cap is missing there, too. Probably ought to fix that. It doesn't go there, does it? Okay. Yeah, I agree, whoever you are sighing. Tire roller is missing. This isn't connected. That's a belt. Oh, I didn't realize there were more things. Gotcha. I was right. The cap was missing. We're going to steal a car. We didn't. We just left. What? 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 Craftsman's room, 623 PM. Okay. Now this is just silly. I am 100% positive that no hotel would let you do anything with most of this equipment in their hotel. Like, that's just silly. We are very bad at being cops. You are correct, Hot Punk. We are very bad at it. Like, we just fixed some dude's car for no reason, and now we're in the room of someone who is into construction for no reason that I can see. Like, the last room didn't lead us here. Um. Why is there like the bottom of a table on the desk here? It's gonna knock that phonograph over. And that's a nice looking phonograph. It is very pretty. Brown. That doesn't make any sense. Insulating tape I saw. Where is it? There it is. Oil can. Oh, apparently it that's an oil can. red screwdriver. Oh, do I need a different colored oil can? Tweezers, a caliper, hanger, weird horn, key, there's a nut. Oh, I saw a key, maybe not. No, I think it was this. Oh, there's the oil can. Yeah, see, that is also an oil can. I hate to break it to you, game. Boot. Oh, are we coming in here because- no, because we didn't find the boot print. That was just one of the things. Whatever. Ring. Oh, there's the horn. Safety pin, clamp ring. I think those are scissors. Yeah, I think the game's forgotten its own plot, too. At least in the last game, in between rooms, there was, like, a comic book with story. 
So, like, it kept you engaged and kind of like, oh, this is what's going on next. And this is the stuff that's happening in between rooms. Uh, not so much with this one. This one is kind of just, we're going to look at all the rooms in the hotel for no apparent reason. Camera clampering key boot print. Camera, that's a movie camera. I don't think that's what they mean. No. Ah, there's the camera. Uh, clampering. And what was the other thing? A key and a boot print. This guy has the messiest room. He wins the prize thus far. Oh wait, there it is. Key and a boot print. And we need clampering for some reason. Okay. Sure. There's the key. Here's the boot print. Where in here would you be able to have a boot print? It's on the window thing. Where? Oh, it's on the curtain? The window thingy. <laughs> Wait, now we're going back to the engine? Why? We're continuing to fix the engine. Why? Why did we just fix this car? I'm running out of parts to fix the engine. I think I can find what I didn't love. Camper using place. Okay. Wh why am I stealing this car? Okay, dude, you got your blinker and your windshield wipers on. Radio. I'm so confused. Hotwire the car. It has a key! Why do I need to hotwire it? I have a car! Why do I need to hotwire it? That's not how hot wiring works. That's not how hot wiring works. Now, the mini games in the last game were like straight up mini games that had nothing to do with the plot and they were kind of annoying. But this is also very annoying. Oh, and you're going to make me undo all of them too, aren't you, you jerk? Ugh. Okay, this game is officially not as fun as the last one, even though the last one was much more hanky than this one. You're just going to have them try all of the iterations, huh? Ugh. You know, if you did this in real life, you'd get caught by the police very quickly. This is not, in fact, how hot wiring works. And if you have a key, you don't need to hot wire the car. Okay, there we go. Now we have a green car. I don't know why we had a car of our own, but sure, why not? Let's steal someone else's car to go somewhere. The location on the map is very suspicious looking house. I'd better check it out in my stolen car that I just repaired and then hotwired even though it had a key. Somewhere in the forest, 7.28 p.m. This place is a bit unsettling and eerie. It's the perfect place for something to happen. The perfect place for planning evil deeds. A wolf and a fox. They must be friends. All right, it's it, just silly business. Oh, look, a Jason mask. That's not scary or anything. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One of my friends named their son Jason after Jason. 
I don't think his wife figured it out yet. Radio. Oh no, that was a letter. There's the radio. That's danger. Yeah, I agree. That's actually a caution sign, not a danger sign, but close enough. Snow owl. Oh, it's a snow owl. Apparently I need nails. <clears throat> An old bucket. At least this stuff makes sense to be out here. Though, again, you don't leave your gun out in the snow. Why would you do that? A teddy bear? Why is there a teddy bear? I want to get a puppy. I don't have one at the moment. But my son is allergic to dogs. Yeah, I know I'm going to get a puppy. I have to find one that has more hypoallergenic fur. I know there's no such thing as hypoallergenic dogs. All dogs have allergies, but some has less than others. No, I'm not going to exchange my son for a puppy. Um, however, there are dogs who are more hypoallergenic. And I know that because one of our friends used to come to the house with a poodle mix. And he never had, my son never had a problem with allergies with that dog but as soon as we were with a dog that was not a poodle mix he had really bad allergies so we have to find like a poodle mix type dog with uh i know there's more than just poodle mixes um we have to find a dog that's more hypoallergenic which is harder to find because we were going to adopt but most people apparently do not uh put hypoallergenic dogs up for adoption because they must be awesome, which I agree with. What is that supposed to be? It looks like a hand sanitizer thing, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Um, oh, a noose. Lovely. Knife. You know what? I don't think there were any bullets in that last room. We found a bulletless room. There's a lot of nooses in this game, too. There are, in fact. Uh, let's see, what kind of cone am I looking for? I'm looking for a pine cone this time. Probably be in a tree. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it's a blue cone. It looks cold. <laughs> oh, there's the valve. A rubber boot. A starling house. I thought that said a startling house. I'm like, this game is, or this house is kind of startling. Um, there's a hockey stick. That's actually like a goalie hockey stick. We don't want the Jason mask, huh? Shears, hammer, lumber, skis. There's the lumber. Apparently we need lumber too. I bet we're gonna make a ladder. We need the hammer too? Yep, ha, we're gonna make a ladder. I knew it. Shears and skis, there's the skis. There's the shears. Why are there hot peppers hanging from the roof? That's just silly. I am not looking in the right place for the shears. We're going to make a ladder. There's two ladders right there. There are two ladders right there, but I bet that's what we're going to do. That's always what you do in these games. You make a ladder. I don't see the shears. Oh, wow. There's shears there? I never would have found that. I can use the ladder to get on the roof, but the ladder is broken. See? See? I don't think I would trust me to fix a broken ladder that is going to get me on the roof. Also, why wouldn't you just, like, not go on the roof? Whatever. We're peeking into... What on earth? The boiler house. This boiler house is way too far away from the hotel to be connected to it and actually have any impact on it at all. 
Also, it looks like what little kids think basements look like. Very scary. Spooky. Um, or shoot. Don't put the bunny on top of the thing. It will start on fire. <sighs> another hat. Oh, wait. Amber, Amber, Amber. Another hat, another hat, another hat. This is not a good game. It's not, honestly, it's not a bad game. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, I've played bad Find It games, and they are just bad. This one is actually, like, the mechanics work. Um... There's interesting things to look at, at the very least. It's not the same thing over and over again. You're not going back through all the rooms um, and just finding different items each time. Um, they have mini games, even though I don't like them. Oh, we have another bullet somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's... It's not the best game. And I actually, like I said, I think the first game was more fun, even though this one is more modern. And, um... Slightly less... Again, slightly less janky looking. Generally speaking. Why is there a pyramid? Is this Illuminati? Ha ha ha. My kids think the Illuminati is the funniest internet joke. Like... Every time they see a triangle, it's the Illuminati! And then they all break out laughing. Because kids are silly. Oh, I saw the apple. There it is. And it's the canteen. Airplane. Let's see. Footprint. A footprint on the hot pipe. What is with this game? Oh, I saw the key. There's a key. An elephant! I love elephants. They're so cool. I want to meet an elephant and be friends with it. That's like one of my goals in life, is to be friends with an elephant, because I think that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? I don't want one as a pet or anything. First of all, my children have told me I'm not allowed to have an elephant as a pet because we have nowhere to keep one. Um, but it would be really cool to be an elephant's friend. Yes, elephants are awesome sauce. Da, 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 da. Yeah, get the rabbit off of the boiler. That is not a good place for a rabbit. And my husband collects fountain pens. Because he's a nerd. And I love him. Another gun. You probably shouldn't have your rifle leaning up against the boiler either, now that I think about it. That's probably a really bad idea. Especially if it has... Um... Anything in it. Let's see. Binoculars, glove, butcher knife... Moon. Binoculars, glove... Butcher knife... Moon. I don't think I've seen any of those things. Oh, there's a butcher knife. Actually, a butcher knife, too. Good for them. So, binoculars, glove, moon. Glove is on the boiler. I've seen that glove 80 times, too. Now that as soon as you said it, I'm like, oh, of course it is. And there's the moon right next to it. That means I wasn't looking there at all. And binoculars. Hmm. Oh, there they are. They looked like uh, bottles of oil and vinegar. There might be something unusual here. Perhaps some kind of hidden safe. Why do we think that? Okay, to be fair, that in fact looks like some sort of hidden something or other. This is definitely more a standard um, hidden object puzzle than some of the other ones in this game. The newer ones are all about this kind of stuff. Move this? Can I move this? Oh, okay, good. Not that this is a particularly challenging one. V, V, V. Oh. 
If I get it right, it's not challenging. If I'm not paying attention, it's much harder. I hear a wolf in the background. He has a hungry security manager and keys to a hotel that is much older than the one we're staying in. Now where are we? Security manager's room. 8.55 p.m. I am 100% positive we are not supposed to be in here without a warrant. Fair. Oh, you're right. Look at that. Is there a hat on here? Not yet. Oh, another pyramid. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, handcuffs. A pig. At him? Oh, that's cute. Uh, let's see. Camera. Corkscrew. I guess the uh, security manager is a drinker. A kiss. I'll see the kiss. Oh, th there I go. Talking quiet again because that's what I do. I have to stop doing that. Apparently, if I want to do this more often so that people can actually hear me. In my normal life, I am extremely loud. Paperclip, calculator. What is that supposed to be? It looks like an old fashioned GPS almost. Calculator. Star. I just saw. No, I just saw a heart, not a star. What is that? Is that a fingerprint? Yep, it is. Look, a whole bunch of bullets. I mean, that makes more sense than having one bullet, but still probably not the greatest thing on Earth to have lying around, along with all of these firearms. What is it? One, two, three handguns and a rifle? I, I'm more worried that there's like some sort of like international conspiracy going on here than something supernatural. This hotel has a lot of gun lovers in it. Oh, there's a star. Hmm, I wonder what that security footage is from. Probably one of their other games. Badge. Jack. Dude's name is Jack. Eagle. Eagle. Cork. Actually, oh, I saw the cork. Where was the cork? There it is. I actually wonder how they make, like, the, um, the images for these games. Do they, like, have to draw over stuff, or do they, like, cartoonize actual images? I know a lot- uh-oh, I heard a bang on the door. Maybe they'll go away. That was in real life, not in the game. A revolver. I guess you're talking about this one. This- whatever. Um... Button, button. Who's got the button? Oh, there's a button. No whistling. Heart. Oh, I saw the heart. There it is. A hook. Oh, there's a corkscrew. Sticking in a wine bottle. Um, oh, there's the kiss mark on a thing of some kind of amber booze can't read that well enough. My, since I'm not full screen, it's hard to read this tiny writing. Daisy? No, you are not booze. Oh, yeah, okay. That took me a moment. Remedy? Okay. Oh, and I don't need it either. <laughs> Paperclip. I still don't know what that is. What is that? Bone. It's weird looking. Um, I'm looking for a key. I saw the key. The key is over here. Oh, that's the teaspoon. I was looking for like a teaspoon, like a measuring teaspoon, not like a teaspoon like for tea. Okay, so let's see. I hook a razor pen. There's the eraser. See an eye anywhere? Hmm. There's a feather. I don't know why that fedora has a feather. The fedora is not one of the things we're taking this time, Amber. This time, we're leaving the fedora. Oh, there's the hook. 
on the Buddha statue. Weird. An eye and a pen. Burn. <laughs> You're not allowed to burn the game. That's that's illegal. Somebody left a glass of booze. One, two, three bottles of booze. Oh, I think that one might be wine because it had a corkscrew in it. I am looking for a pen. I'm looking for what is oh that's the antenna for the pen. That's done. Oh, is that a pen? There's the pen. An eye. I don't see an eye anywhere. You'd think that would be one thing I'd see pretty quickly. Eye is in the painting. Oh, you're right. I wasn't looking up there. Thank you, Ot Punk. I wonder what might be inside the safe. Probably something we're not... Of course the safe is locked. What is inside the safe? <gasps> this guy's acting very suspiciously. He's dressed like a priest. Perhaps this is the man that all the evidence points to. I think this is a prequel. Looks like he was visiting several different rooms in the hotel, probably to implement his evil plans. I should check him out because right now he's my prime suspect. Watching the surveillance footage reminds me I should shut off the hotel security cameras if I want to continue my investigation unnoticed. First thing you need to do. <sighs> what just happened? Bypass the security system. Click on the tiles to rotate them. Click anywhere to continue. Light up all the fuses. Why did they all just disappear? Oh, as soon as they light up, they disappear. That's dumb. Seems very inefficient, really. Like, if that was how your actual electronic system worked, you wouldn't actually have electronics. What am I doing? Not the right thing. There we go. Okay. Success! Do not disturb. Uh-oh. Who's this? Is this me? I have a terrible mustache. Nope, it's not me. Didn't he have a badge? Maybe he's a policeman. What is this? This is the priest's room! 9.15pm. Okay then! Um... Well, I don't know what to do with that information. Chalk. Use. I guess he's not a priest of uh, the normal variety. In the last one, he was. He had, like, Bible verses all, like, plastered all over his wall, which was actually kind of creepy, too. As a priest, I need a shotgun and a fedora and a tiny elf door in my wall. I, I, yes, I, I don't know. I don't understand. And, like, chalk magic circles on the floor and... Creepy. Oh, another bullet. There you go. Close pin. Oh, your paper clip. Is this some sort of like. There's a close pin. This looks like some sort of like rune board. I, or it's just a box with dice on it. But like, this room is very sus, as they say. Like a mouse. That doesn't surprise me. 
binoculars. Though actually there hasn't been a lot of food in these rooms except for apples and pears. I'm not looking for anything. Let's start over. Moon, envelope, ball, cigarette, binoculars, bolt, leaf. Ooh, there's an eyeball. Moon, envelope, ball, cigarette. There's a cigarette on top of the briefcase. That's not a good place for it. Binoculars. Oh, there's the moon. Screwdriver. I think I saw a screwdriver. Maybe not. Whiskey. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, a lighter. There's a screwdriver right in front of me. That's not a lighter. That's, that's a cabinet full of booze. Because that comes with all hotel rooms. Wait, I saw pliers. Pliers. There's a lighter. Put the envelope. Yep. Bandage. Keys. Do I see keys? know what that is. Is that another mouse? No, what is that? A leaf. Oh, sure. Did not look like a leaf. Pocket watch. Tie I saw too. Dice are over here. There's the eye. Handprint above the mirror. It's creepy. Oh, there's a mousey. Gunpowder. Yeah, this is, it, is that the gunpowder just sitting on the table? Oh boy. Apple. Padlock. Tie. Paper clip. Pencil. Hat. Another hat. This one is a um, South American kind of airy hat. I think what those are called. They're made of uh, not straw. I have lost all of my vocabulary. It's one of those hats. That kind. The kind I just did. There's a badge. No, it's not the right badge. Oh, I'm not looking for the badge. <laughs> ah, another pong ball. Guess that guy's playing with the hacker. Okay. A bolt and keys. What kind of a bolt? There's the keys. A bolt like a door bolt? Oh, a bolt like a nut and bolt. Another torn up photograph sitting where I can find it. And... Oh, you're gonna show it to me again. Lame. We were big into puzzles when I was younger. We had like really giant ones that like took up the whole table. They weren't lots of pieces because they were big pieces, um, but they were a lot of fun. And then we had some that were smaller but had more pieces. And then we had a puzzle game, which was probably freeware. It was there. No, it really does. There's the thing right there. Thank you. Um. And since it was freeware, you were supposed to, uh, or shareware or whatever, you were supposed to buy the full copy, but we didn't have any money. So we just played the copy we had and it only had like six puzzles and you could increase how many pieces the puzzle had each time, but it was the same puzzle <laughs> over and over again. And we used to play it all the time. Because back in the days before the internet, life was Boring. We were dumb kids. We were. Why did someone take a picture of this? Garden, 8.35 a.m. Oh, it's the next day. I slept in that hotel overnight. That seems like a bad idea. Let's see. Teapot. A cute teapot. Flippers. Magpie. Or pump. That is a fake bird noise. I think that's the same fake bird mo noise from the um, the porch, the porch level. That's a woodpecker, I guess. We have a really dumb woodpecker in our neighborhood, or we did when I was little. I live in the same neighborhood as when I was little. And um, it wouldn't peck on trees all the time. 
Sometimes it would peck on my parents' metal chimney topper, and sometimes it would peck on the electrical transformers that hang from the uh, telephone poles in the neighborhood. I'm kind of surprised it lasted as long as it did because it was not smart. Now, I don't know if woodpeckers are normally smart, but that particular one, not so much. Shovel, that is not the type of shovel you would use in the snow. Oh, I just saw the pine cone, there it is. Rake. Well, it's the bottom of a rake. Sprayer. Chainsaw. Fur boots. I think you leave your boots out in the snow. That's a dumb idea. Also, I don't see them. Um, what is that? Are there like Celtic knots on this little doorway there? Scarf. Is that a scarf? Nope, that's a rope. Oh, there's a scarf. There's the matching hat. Do I need a hat too? Cap. Yep. A dove, which is just a white pigeon, in case you didn't know that. They even sound the same. I didn't know that till I was much older than I probably should have been. Should have be. Whatever. That's a very rusty Jeep. Art. Squirrel. I saw the squirrel. Glass. Matches. Star. Where's the star? Here's the star. Apple. Bucket. Why are we in this garden? Aren't we supposed to be hunting evil priests or something? What is happening? Yeah, no, I don't know. Oh, there's the foods right there. I, I'm not sure. There was a picture of this and it's a clue because it was torn up. I mean, that's fair, I guess. But why would someone take a picture of this and what are we supposed to be looking for? Okay, we're looking for the weird entrance that's just sitting there behind the jeep with the Celtic runes on either side. Is this the dungeon? Hidden basement. It wasn't that hidden. 9.03 a.m. Well, somebody was mad in here, weren't they? Let's see. Or... We haven't found any evidence of anything yet, by the way. Like, zero things. Paintbrush. Like, like, there hasn't been any evidence- I- okay, that's not true. There's guns and knives and weird stuff all over the place, but, like, we haven't commented on any of that. So I assume that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, except for the priest visiting different rooms. And the creepy stuff in the priest's room. And all the guns in all of the other rooms. Like, that's the extent of it. I don't understand. Oh, a toy turtle. That's so cute. Um... I'm surprised I haven't found the spider yet. I usually find spiders very fast. I do not like spiders. Oh, there's a spider. Um. Oh, no, it's another hat. Here you go. There's been a hat in almost every room. I don't know why. Why is there heavy breathing in this room? And a heartbeat, actually. Oh, there's the rat. Horseshoe. Yeah, the heavy breathing is kind of unnecessary. This is not at all, like, dangerous looking. Any more so than any of the other places we've been. That's not pliers? Oh, that's a, that's a, there's pliers. That's a wrench, not pliers. Scissors, there's a pin, a pincher. Oh, nail puller. Screwdriver, key. Oh, there's the gloves. A big hammer. That's a big hammer. They're, they're usually called sledgehammers, but sure. Oh, apparently I'm gonna need a sledgehammer. Good to know. 
a padlock. That's a flask. I thought I just saw a padlock. There it is. A bowling pin. All basements have to have something bowling related in them. A bell. Bell. Telephone. Ah, flask. I already saw that. Okay, so what next? Oil can, sword, horseshoe, note, key. I saw the sword. What kind of note? Oh, that kind of note. Uh, let's see. Horseshoe? Horseshoes. That's the right way, because then the luck stays in. If you have them upside down, the luck falls out. If cartoons taught me anything. That's a blowtorch, not an oil can. Let's see. Up oh, there's the oil can. And a key. Oh, I don't remember seeing a key at all. Key, 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 key. Up oh, there it is. It's on the typewriter. Alright, let's go into the secret passage. What on earth? Secret basement room, 9.55 a.m. A clue. There's a clue here, but there's some paint covering it. Okay. Um, there's a cassette tape. Wait, how? I want to pick this up, right? And this is the acetone, I assume. A film viewer. A cassette tape, okay. Is crack. It was the priest crack. He was everywhere. Make yourself fzz. gone from this place. Fzz. I hope someone will hear this tape. Crack to save us. Film? I need a film viewer. Oh, I have a film viewer. You need a film. Now, where did it go? Interesting pictures. My prime suspect on these pictures, the priest. He's definitely involved in this case. I didn't get to see the pictures. Why do I have a hammer? That's not going to help me here. Oh, now it let me pick that up. Why didn't it let me pick it up before? Okay, now I got that with acetone on. I can use the rag on the paint, but I need some solvent first. I did that already. Um, clairvoyance room, 11.15 a.m. What, what, what was in the note? Is that in my journal? It looks like some name, directions, and a room number. Were you going to tell me that at all? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. So the note scratched into the table in the basement led me to a room where a clairvoyant, clairvoyant, is staying and her room is decked out in red with a little cat with wearing a fez which is adorable um but i don't have any information like like i don't get it what am i supposed to be there's no clues it's just piece of paper leading me from one room to another and like Granted, all of these people seem pretty sus based on the stuff that's in their rooms, but I don't actually see anything supernatural going on, which is the reason I came here in the first place, I'm pretty sure. Um, and nothing like related to criminal activity except for the large firearm stashes, but that doesn't seem to be bothering me. So what is it I'm doing here? And we don't have any information on the priest besides that he's been going into other people's rooms, which is exactly what we've been doing, just so we're clear. And I, I don't know. That's that's really all we have, isn't it? 
I think. Very strange. I'll use a fortune cookie. Fortune cookies are fun, but they do not taste good. There has been almost nothing plot-wise. Like, if I didn't know what had happened in the last game, which, if you haven't watched it, you haven't. Oh, and there's like, that's right, there's like the cop or the security, it might be the security guard for the hotel. I mean, we did go through his room, too, and not turn off any of the surveillance cameras until, like, we were halfway through the game. But, like... I don't have any idea why, what this has, like, there's been no plot in this game. If I didn't know what had happened in the last game, I would know nothing about what's going on. I would just know that the priest did it, apparently, and that there's a hacker. And uh, I don't understand anything else besides that. I mean, we literally haven't spoken with anybody. We've seen like two or three notes, and most of them just have like one thing written on them. And it usually just leads us to another room where we also don't find anything. It's very confusing. Like, when we finally get to the end of the game, I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing. Though, I, ha I have a idea of what's going to happen is I'm pretty sure, like I said a couple times, that this is in fact a prequel to the first game. Because in the first game, we find um, all this research and stuff from uh, I'm almost positive it's a policeman. And they are nowhere to be found, but we find all their research. So I bet we're the policemen and we leave end up leaving all of this evidence behind for the person in the next game. Except, like, we haven't found any evidence! Yeah, I have no idea how much longer this game is going to be going either. Like, there's no indication for progress. Magic lamp. That's actually an oil lamp, not a magic lamp. But, I don't know, maybe it's a magic lamp. Who am I to say? Um, it's like this room, for example. It looks eccentric, yes, but at least it's not filled with guns, which all of the other rooms have been. Um, not, not particularly sus in any way at all. Oh, there's the eye again. And I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, there's a feather. Where's the bracelet? I haven't seen the bracelet at all. It would be very funny if the next room was like the last room of the game, but I kind of have a feeling it isn't. Oh, there's a bracelet right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> there is has to be a secret in this place somewhere. It looks like something is... I'm going to break this lady's crystal ball with a sledgehammer. Really? There's a secret hiding place on the roof I must investigate. Why hasn't anyone arrested what on earth? 9.13 p.m. What is going on? Why is there suddenly chanting? What's with the creepy gargoyles? Why is the chanting wavering in and out? Uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice poolside table too. Of course there's a gun. But there's like, what? 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 Oh, there's a hat somewhere in here. Oh, that's a cowboy hat. That doesn't count as an evil hat. Yeah, the music is just getting weirder and weirder, too. It's not like... Huh. I... I don't understand what's happening.
Well, I guess I'm going to find the things here. Oh, there's a kitty on a platter. Okay. Um, wait, is that the tray I'm looking for? Okay, now the kitty's not on a platter anymore. Um, how does this relate at all to anything that's happened yet? Besides completely not relating to anything that's happened yet. Wow, so, um, I guess I haven't finished playing this game before. I'm pretty sure I would remember this. I mean, I've played a lot of games, but I'm pretty sure I would remember this. That must be a shawl. I don't think that's a scarf. Oh, it's a candle though. And a teapot. Oh, that is a scarf. Okay. Teapot. Mouse. Golf ball. Oh, I saw the camera. Where's the camera? Golf ball. Where's the mouse? Okay, so our, our, our thing right now is we need a mouse, a red rune, a gray rune, a blue rune, a green rune, and a list. I don't even- well there's red, I guess that's blue, or is that gray? There's the gray one. And green. And there's the list. Where's the stupid mouse? That's not supposed to be one of the creepy things. It's supposed to be a regular mouse, I assume. It's not. I don't know. This game is very bizarre. I think I'm a mouse. Oh, it's on the head. Okay! We found all the things. And there is a loose brick with a creepy journal. It's a journal with a plant. Oh. Read fast enough. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, I don't know where this is taking us. All the evidence points to one suspect, the priest! Now I can take him into custody and solve this case once and for all. What?! And I'm gonna arrest him. WHAT HAPPENED?! You and I are going to have a nice little conversation. I believe that this case will be finished soon. I really want to believe... Uh-oh, whoever that is. You should be proud of yourself, gentlemen. Our plans to drive away the FBI agent have worked beautifully. <laughs> he swallowed our bait, hook, lion, and sinker. Let him have his little fish and let's hope, let's all hope he doesn't come looking for something. Even if he does come back, it will be too late. Our diversion bought us enough time we need and we will be finished very soon. I don't know what's going on. The time has come for the final phase. Let's, let us begin. Begin once! Now we're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and you're going to be very honest with me. Speak clearly into the voice recorder. Let our revelations begin. They have a smoking eye! I might have something to add to your report, Mr. FBI agent. Who are you, and what are you doing in my office? What is happening? Don't get yourself in a twist, son. I'm the detective whose diary started you on this case. I'm afraid you've been duped, and if you don't hurry now, you'll miss the real show.
back. What? I don't understand what happened. There's literally no plot. There's literally no evidence. Nothing happened. Wow. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I was not expecting that. So, if you want to find out any plot in this game, you have to watch the first one, apparently. Haunted Hotel 2. That's it. That's the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, so, um, in case you couldn't hear me over the end music, which seemed to be louder than the rest of it, um, if you want to have any idea of what happened, <laughs> the hotel wasn't even haunted. It is in the first game! That's the thing! There's this, like, big evil magic void monster, and the elevator doesn't go to the right floors, and, like, everything looks the same. But this game, like, you're searching for clues that I assume point to that? I guess that this isn't a prequel. This is after that. Which makes even less sense. Because then, where was the void monster? We didn't defeat it in the first game. Unless this is a prequel and it's be continued prequel. Yeah, the, there's like, the first game has all kinds of interesting plot, and it's all done with, I think they forgot the first game too, it, um, there's lots of interesting plot, it's all done in with like, just comic book stills and long blocks of text, but at least there's a story, I think they also forgot about this game, yes, this game, um, yeah, well, this was a game that I just played for a while and now it's done and I guess I don't have to play it anymore and the good news is that I own the third game so the next one in the series maybe the third game explains what's going on in this game question mark I don't know I have lots of confusion I I'm I'm actually just very surprised because the first game had so much plot it didn't always make sense, but it was there, and this one just left all the plot out. Huh. Okay, well, um, I guess uh, I, I, I'm going to be done now, and um, yes, I'm sure I want to exit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was, that was that, and we're done now, and I hope that was interesting. <laughs> it certainly was different. Um, maybe next time we'll play the third one, who knows. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm fate-touched, and I will see you guys later. Bye!